Okay, so you've got an Intel stock cooler. It's had the pre-applied thermal paste on it. You've had it for a while, or maybe a friend gave it to you. Is it any good anymore? Like, how long does it last? Well, in this case, I have an i5-760 that has uh, got to be about seven years old. How long does the thermal paste really last, and what, what would the temperatures be? Well, I just happened to have uh, used my test bench, put it on, to test that very thing. So first I put it on with the thermal paste pre-applied. I have a, actually a second one here I'm going to show you. And you'll see what that looks like after seven years. So here's the stock cooler, just an Intel stock cooler. We'll get it out of the packaging that it's been in for quite some time. It looks pretty good. Doesn't seem to be any problems, but I can see a little bit of ridges and stuff like that. Well, let's have a look at the uh, thermals that come off, off of this. All right, with my test bench already up and running, you can see the fans are spinning. And of course, you can see that the CPU is spinning. However, when you look in the BIOS, we have a look at the temperatures. They're hovering around 69, 70. Now that's under the hardware monitor in your BIOS. And now you got to keep in mind that's under no load. So that's telling me that that's running pretty hot with an Intel stock cooler. So the question is, will it change or will it make a difference if I reapply the thermal paste? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the next step to do this, of course, is to unplug your CPU. Okay, so there's a little thing here. Just pull it right off. Okay, that's it. Take that off. Just set it out of the way. And we're going to remove these. Okay, so, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these. See how the arrow is pointing um, outward? So the arrow is out here. All right. So I'm going to turn those so the arrow is pointing in which will release the um, CPU. So get a screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, and you just put it in there and just turn it. Now by turning it, that's going to release it. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with each one. And same thing with this one. And Finally, the very last one. Now, that should allow me to pull on each one. Okay, and that released it, no problem. And finally, the last one. Okay, so that's going to pull it off. So we're going to take that off. Just lift it straight up. And as you can see, the, the thermal paste really wasn't doing anything. Hardly anything at all. It didn't spread on your CPU. You can barely see anything there. So that's why our temperature was getting as hot as it was. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some... Uh, this is what I've got. Okay, rubbing alcohol compound, 95% ethanol. And I'm going to get a Q-tip. I'm gonna, or you can use paper towel too will work and I'm just going to clean this all off here. I'm going to take the Intel cooler I'm going to wipe all this stuff. That's all going to come off. Then I'm going to reapply just to here. Just going to put a little bead and then I'm going to put the cooler back on. And then we'll check and see what our temperatures are after we've done that. Okay, so basically we're just take this thermal paste. Okay. And we're going to apply the thermal paste over into the CPU. So just squeeze a little bit, a little more. Okay, so stop and just be careful not to uh, get any on the motherboard, so just pull it straight up. Okay, so that's it. That's more than enough to putting it on. So all we're going to do now is put this back on. Now the only other thing I did in the meantime was I took the uh, rubbing alcohol basically I took some paper towel, I wiped off the CPU to clean it, and I did the same thing with the stock cooler. So you can see it's all cleaned off now. So you're just going to put this back on here, lined up with the holes, and drop it in, and that's going to be pretty much it. And of course, these arrows are now with the arrow turning in, 
And to tighten it back in, we're just going to turn it the other way. Okay, so trying to show the camera. So there's the holes. So you're going to want to make sure that you line up the, the white uh, spots with the hole. Okay, so just set it on down. That's it. Now, one of the other things you can do is if you're not sure, you can just kind of move the, um, the little pin here. Okay, and just make sure it's actually in the hole. Okay, once it is, okay, once you know it's in the hole, see, that actually pushed right down. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Now, if it doesn't go down, don't worry. So, we just do it diagonally. Okay, so these two are down, the two uh, corner pieces. So, now that we know, oh, okay, now it's down, and that one's down too. Okay, if it doesn't go down, and sometimes when you reapply a stock cooler, the trick is push it down in all four corners and then use the screwdriver to turn that in the opposite direction. So that's what we're going to do here. So once we've got the four of them in, see how the arrows are turning in the opposite direction now? Now we're just going to plug in our CPU fan over here and then that'll be it. And then we'll test our thermals one more time. And just push right down and that's it so now we're going to turn on the um, turn on test bench back on power everything back up and we'll recheck our thermals now if you're ever in doubt of whether that's going back into the motherboard or not you can take it off the test bench and check it okay so the nice thing about a test bench is actually uh, all i had to do was just lift up on the end here look underneath i could see that all the pins were protruding through for the cooler after the thermal paste is reapplied. So now to check our temps, we're just going to go into hardware monitor again in the BIOS. And as you can see, we're going anywhere from 40, 41, and we're pretty much staying there. I mean, from a stock cooler, that's pretty much to be expected, but it's a whole lot better than uh, the 75 we were getting under no load. All right, so hi everybody. So that was just a little quick check, a little short video on uh, thermal paste. So my next video, I might do one on uh, pre-applied uh, thermal paste on a new cooler to see if there's any real difference there. All right, so like always, if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. My next one coming up is going to be the Ryzen desktop build. And uh, thanks for watching.